Well, today we're working on a 66 Mustang convertible again. And what I'm working on today is installing improved seat belts. The seat belts that came in this thing originally were just the two point lap belt. What I want is the shoulder strap belt. And you can see that I've got the fronts installed already. You can see that over there. Uh, you can see the, the revolver, me the mechanism, whatever. You mount those to the floor. You put the uh, you put that third point up here. You actually drill a hole. CJ Pony Parts makes a video on how to do this install. It's actually a pretty good little video, so check that out. Um, for the most part, they do a great job, but he does glance over a couple of sort of minor details. Um, he tells you to use, I think he says it's a. Uh, 15 30 seconds drill bit here and actually I used the 15 30 seconds but then I had to step up to a half inch drill bit so you know do kind of a pilot hole 15 30 seconds then run a half inch through to get that plate to go in um, the other thing that he kind of does a uh, he kind of glances over a little bit is when you mount that bracket on the floor for that mechanism leave clearance between the bracket and the side wall here for your bolt you gotta you gotta leave you know depending on the length of your bolt you're gonna have to leave a gap so don't push that bracket all the way up in the corner he doesn't talk about that uh, other than that they do a pretty good job with describing you know how to install these front seat belts what they don't talk about and what i haven't seen anybody talk about and i've been google searching all over the old forums all over youtube i can't find any information on installing three-point seat belts or shoulder strap seat belts in the back seat of a convertible there's one guy that does a pretty good job uh, he's got a hard top and he does a pretty good job of showing you how he installed his he cut a slot in the package tray he mounted the mechanism in the trunk and then he brought the strap up through the package tray and across the, the seat, similar to what you see there. Um, so that's on a hard top. Well, I, my setup is a whole lot different being I'm convertible here. So you can see I've got that strap running through there right now. I've kind of got it mocked up how I think I can do this. So let me show you what I think I'm going to do and then... We'll walk through the steps of doing it, and by the end of this video, we'll see if it works or not. So how I've got this mocked up in here, I'm going to have to take this, I'll take the seat back out. The seat back is held in with a, a, a tab here and a tab here and two bolts down here, one bolt and one bolt. So I've just got it in here loose. So for now, like I say, it's just mocked up. So I'm going to lift that up, lifts it up off these tabs. See that tab there? That tab there, that's what the back seat sits on. <clears throat> okay, so let me get, let me take two hands and get this seat back. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I've got my mechanism tucked back in this hole. I can reach back here behind the top motor. I can reach back in here, and there's a pretty good cavity back here. I mean, this there's, there's a gap probably, I'm going to guess, eight inches deep probably six or eight inches tall and it kind of makes a triangle but there's plenty of room to reach your arm back there so I've, I've kind of worked this mechanism back in here and I think it'll fit in there without rubbing that belt I don't think it's gonna really it, it, it may come in contact but I don't think it's gonna wear and if a guy wanted to, I guess you could take a you could take a metal cutting tool and enlarge the top of this hole a little bit. So that will slide up and out of that pretty easily. The gap between the seat and the metal back here is just enough to allow that seat belt to slide through pretty well. So we need to attach the thing we need to attach the mechanism let me show you the mechanism itself so the mechanism is only held on by one bolt and we're going to use we're going to use
is that center hole right there. And there's enough room when that sits back here. There's a, there's like an inch and a half probably. All right, guys, I just kind of felt around in there, put my finger, you know, on the back of that plate and kind of just eyeballed it, you know, by feel for the drill and uh, drilled that hole. Hole looks like it's going to line up real well with that mechanism. I was I was messing around with it, you know, and it, and it, it just kind of drags right here and right here a little bit. The webbing does. You know, it's probably okay. It's probably hardly ever going to get used back here, but man, it's a seat belt, you know, so... There ain't no sense in taking no chances. I'm going to go ahead and move these hoses out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to take my whiz wheel real quick. The thing, it's not as wide as this hole. The mechanism isn't. So I'm just going to kind of square this up. Okay, that only took a few minutes. Um, I had some quarter inch vinyl tubing. And also had some of this uh, smaller stuff. This is aquarium tubing. This shit's real cheap. You can buy it like 25 foot lengths on Amazon for couple of bucks or get it at Walmart cut you the length you need and then take your pocket knife and slit it you know run the point of your pocket knife down the thing puts a slit in it and it works real good for you know protecting the edges like that would have been a pretty uh, rough edge now I, for one the seat belt shouldn't rub up against it anyhow but if it does come into contact you know that that will protect it so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fish this thing back through here it's not hard getting it back through here because that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good area to work with. Fish that back through there. I'll bolt it on. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so that didn't work out quite as well as I had hoped. When I tightened it down, that mechanism pulled back a lot more than I want it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this mechanism back out. We're going to get a look at the bottom of it and maybe put a little bend in that metal down here. Because I want the top of that thing to come out. I don't like how it would it would rub on those hoses and this edge a little more than I'd like to see. Well, you can see how I got it in the vise there. Clamped it down and just grabbed it and kind of just give it a little pull. It didn't take much, and that thing bent a little easier than I expected it to. I don't want to go to bananas here and weaken anything. I don't want to change the geometry big time. I just want to make a little clearance. So, uh, you know, we're kind of in some gray area here with bending this. I I'm, I see that. All right, well, there it is. Uh, I did put just a little thin washer, um, you know, on on the inside of the of the red here, um, just just to give a little a little clearance for the top of this mechanism to come forward against the, the red metal. So just a thin washer on the inside there and I've got it I've got it angled just slightly. I'm sure it's showing up on the camera there because I don't want it to run straight up. It'll run into the hanger here. Um, so I do want it to be kind of off to the side next to that hanger. So I think you know I think that'll be plenty of clearance there. Um, you can see where this this little uh, holder was. I relocated that. I just drilled a little hole up there. I think that was like a 5.30 seconds or something drill. Use the same hardware um, just so that the belt wouldn't rub on those hoses. And now I think we're in good shape. Um, it does kind of rub on this, you know, this vinyl here, but it's, it's minor. So I really don't think that's going to be a problem. As far as chafing goes, it is not going to chafe. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the uh, old seat belts, this is the original lap belt, is bolted in here and here. I'm gonna remove the, the old seat belt, use the same hardware, hopefully, and buckle the other end of this same apparatus here. Then on this side, okay, so I got them all three bolted up now. Of course, you saw how I did that one. I took out the original strap on this side. You can see how I've you know, the angle that I had to put the bracket on to get it to fit in there. And then same thing on this side. Put the button on this side. And you can see the angle that I'm using here to get it to lay hopefully nice and flat on your lap. I could go ahead and do the other side now, but I think it'd probably be best if I go ahead and get all my tools out of here, vacuum up this mess, go ahead and put the seat bottom and back in here and test this one out and see if we want to do the same thing on the other side.
Well, we got the seat in here, just where it's supposed to be. And I guess one of my concerns was that the thing wouldn't slide in and out very easy. But there's no trouble at all there. Um, one consideration that some of you guys may or may not be realizing is, you know, the mechanism is down here, and if we were in an accident or something and this were to tighten up, it's going to pull down hard on the highest point, which is going to be the top frame on this seat. We're going to have to make some concessions here. Or we're going to have to be realistic about our expectations of these seat belts. There is nothing up here to mount to, guys. I mean, it would be great if there were some big chunky piece of metal up here, but there's not. The top of this seat frame is fairly rigid and it's going to have to be, I mean, it's the best that it can be. So we really don't have any options here. So, you know, make sure your seat is bolted down. You know, there's a bolt on each side that's holding it in there. That's going to help you out. You know, that way it'll keep it mounted like it should be. And I mean, that's, we're doing the best we can with what we have available. So, um, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and sit down in the thing, buckle up, see how it feels. Well, it feels like I'm sitting in the back seat of a Mustang. Um, little kids barely fit back here. Adults really don't. Um, just to give you an idea of size, you know, on the belt, it's coming up. It's really comfortable to reach over here and get to the buckle. That feels like it's falling just like it should on my hip. Uh, over here on this hip, it's, you know, disappears down into the crack of the seat. Feels like it's coming across, you know, as good as it can, you know, just like any other. I guess just like any other seatbelt would, given that I'm smashed in here like a sardine. Um, this up here on my shoulder, hopefully you guys can see this. Up here on my shoulder, it's coming across. It's it's kind of in my neck a little bit, but you know, not it ain't it ain't bad. Um, which I guess if you want to figure that it's not adjustable, and I'd rather have it in my neck a little bit knowing that if a little kid's back here, it's not gonna be falling off of their shoulder. If, you know, if it's riding into their neck a little bit, I'm okay with that. I'd rather it be up in my neck a little more than off of my shoulder. So, kind of keep that in mind. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's as comfortable as it can be. It come right off of my shoulder there. It retracted really well. And, uh, you know, don't look bad in there looks like it would have come with the car so i'm pretty happy about this guys i'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull the seat the seat back out i'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side i'll show you what it looks like when we get all right same thing different side you can see i made my cuts just the same i put that tubing on there just the same i moved the uh top the lines for the top out of the way just the same um you know reused the factory hardware and holes I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, seat back in here and we'll see what it looks like. Well, I got her all buttoned up and uh, something that I hadn't considered until I got that seat put in there and uh, kind of stood back and looked is how much cleaner a look that is. You know, I just got those two buckles laying on the seat there. Before I had the lap belts and they would never stay. I try to keep them rolled up, you know, to keep them organized looking and they never would. Uh, these things, you know, recoil and tuck and, and hide themselves away. So I don't have all that jumble of junk laying on the back seat. So this is a whole lot cleaner look. It's going to be safer and it looks better. It's a win-win. I hope I helped you with this one, guys. If you're working on something like this, if I did, click that thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos of me working on this car or stuff out in the barn, click the subscribe button. Until the next video, guys, keep on tankering.